Okay, so I just wanted to make a tutorial on the new time synth in Unreal since I was pretty excited to see that they made it. First thing you need to do is open up your plugins, go to audio, and enable the time synth since it's just experimental right now. And then you'll have to restart your project for it to take effect. Then you just need a few loopable audio clips. Drag those in. Now in the sound you'll see a time synth volume group and a time synth clip. So we'll just do one volume group for all of these clips. But then we'll need a, a clip for each of these just so that we can start them at different times. So Find your sound. I'm just going to do fade out and fade in as zero. That way they'll just come in immediately. But pretty much this is how many how many bars or beats you want it to take. Oh, and there's one other thing. This clip duration, there is no infinite option. Uh, but there is a very large number. <laughs> so if you want it to be infinite, I guess you can just do that or you'll have to find some way to keep track of when it's going to run out and then start it again. So let's just duplicate that so we have the same settings. Oh, don't know what happened there. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay. Get our second clip. And our third. Okay. Now what we need to do is we want to open the level blueprint and then search for time synth. Add time synth component. Oh, the target can just be self right now since we're just adding it to the level blueprint. Okay, so there are a few things you can do with this. There's this bind event to on playback time. This is just something that will keep ticking as the audio synth is going so that you can easily keep track of how long it's been since the audio synth started. So if you're wanting to keep track of how many seconds or whatever has passed and then do something with that. And then once we've created this synth we want to set the BPM to the BPM of whatever the loopable clips are that we have. So in this case, I need to check again because I forgot. 115. And then uh, we'll start one clip at the start. So we'll just start the first one, new synth clip. Uh, then our volume group we can use right there. That'll just make it so it actually, you can actually hear it. Okay, and so this time synth essentially doesn't start until you start the first clip on it. So since we have this on begin play here, then as soon as this is hit and it starts playing the first clip, that is counted as the start of, of the synth's time. So if you started that at a different point, like with a key press or something, that would be the start of the clip, not the beginning of the level, even if you added it at the beginning of the level. Alright, so we will add one to a key, just so we can add them in and see how it times up. Let's do the Z key. So we're going to add in, let's just do two clips, both of these here. Clip one and clip two. And start them playing. One thing I forgot is these need to be set to looping. Even though this thing sort of takes care of how many times they loop around, the audio clip still has to be set to looping in order for it to actually work. Okay, so.
So here the first clip start there. And then right now if I just press Z at any time. They should all come in at a time that matches up with each other, but... It's not actually the way that I would want it to sound because these are all set right now to come in on the same. I think the default is one bar. Um, so the first clip I'd just like to say no quantization because it will just start according to whatever the very beginning of the time synth is, in which case this is what I want because this is the beginning of the song. Okay, so these clips that we want to come in later, we can set the number of bars they should come in at, but it's according to wherever the beginning, whenever the time synth started. So it'll be like, it could start every two bars since that beginning, or every four bars since that beginning. Uh, so essentially you can kind of make it line up that way with how the song would be no matter where you're pressing it. But it's like, but it doesn't mean like two bars after you press it necessarily. So I can show an example here with quantization. So if I had a clip and I set it to one bar, for instance, that means it could start at any bar after the beginning. So, oh wait, gotta actually start it, that's important. So let's start right there. If I set it to two bars, that means counting from the beginning, it could start here, 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 and so on. No matter where you tell it to start playing. So I could start it here, but it won't start until... And so even if I start it up close like this, it's still gonna start right there because it's two bars since the beginning or, you know. So that's kind of how that works. So maybe I want this one to be two bars and this one to be four bars. Then when I play, press Z. They both happen to hit at the same time there. Let's see if we can get it different. Oh yeah, see there it hit the two bars and the four bars. So yeah, that's the the basic gist of it. You can You can trigger clips whenever, and as long as you give them a quantization that lines up with, you know, how they should line up with each other in the song. Oh, this this piece should be, you know, should only start one, always start, you know, offset this much from the beginning or whatever, then you can get a way that it'll always sound. Uh, other things, you can use the fade in or fade out, so you can, if you want things to sound a bit smoother instead of just clipping right in. And if you want things to automatically fade out after a certain amount of repeats, you can do that as well. So, set number of bars of fade out and a clip duration of two. So it'll just loop around two times and then disappear. A little fade in. Yeah, so that's that's about all I found out so far about it. But um yeah, it's pretty cool.
feature because uh, before we couldn't really do this with the engine, all the all the delays and uh, timelines and stuff just weren't precise enough to uh, to sound proper trying to start audio clips with each other. So yeah. <laughs> 